What's going on, everybody? This is Super Bowl 8, and today we're going to talk about the April 2023 Hasbro Pulse live stream. They showed off a lot of new figures, a lot of new stuff, a lot of stuff that's going to be worthy of purchase. The majority of this is going to be uh, purchased, uh, not necessarily all of it. I have Dirge, and um, but I do want a lot of the figures that are shown today, um, and the ones that weren't shown, I want those too. And we're going to talk about all that, some of the things that I see, some of the things that I might say mm, i don't know about that but i still want them i still want them. this is a very good uh release i looked at the pictures thoroughly and see what we're going to be getting i mean we're going to be getting figures like uh brawn we're going to be getting yes brawn but there's no model form we're going to get a bumblebee a buzzworthy bumblebee optimus prime it looks like a movie version um we're going to get like um a target exclusive megatron another megatron i think that's this the uh, one from the original War for Cybertron series. But I want to talk about this first. This is the Dark or Nemesis Leo Prime, a.k.a. Nemesis Lao Condor. I don't recall him having gold, these sort of goldish and grayish colors. I always thought he was darker than that with the teal. I thought he was more black and teal, like how they did with the Masterpiece version. With this in the close-up pictures, the light... I see a lot of the bronze and like a bronze color and that and I could be wrong. I wish I, I want my e-hobby experts to step in on this, but it does kind of remind me of Black Big Convoy because Black Big Convoy had a similar color scheme with black and gold, but he didn't have the teal. But this one still is a worthy purchase. It almost reminds me of the Flash Leo Convoy from the movie that was plentiful in the 90s. Yes, in the 90s. That's right. Next up is a reap paint and retool of scrapbook by the name of Axel Grease. This is one of the first female Junkions and she's a Decepticon. And I have to admit, it looked pretty good. Now, will I pick it up? Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. I, I'm probably gonna pick this one up more than I would pick up scrapbook. I really do enjoy the colors. I love that, you know, that lavender. I, I got some, some Air Force Ones with a similar color scheme, I think. There's a little more wild than that, but still, I like the colors. I really enjoy it. They pop. Um, they, it stood out to me. I knew it was a repaint of one of the, you know, newer Junkions that break apart, but wow. Very good. Very good. Next is the Armada Commander Class Optimus Prime, which we have been seeing for quite a while now. And this is one of the uh, designers here. Um, his name is... Let me see if I can pronounce it right. Shogo Hasui. And he's presenting the figure. Um, he did some comparison shots next to the Armada Megatron, which is what we're going to talk about next. But I really do like this. I'm, I, I like this figure. I, I, I think this is one. The trailer makes more sense to me. The way that it looks makes more sense to me. It's smaller than the original. But it's still, you know, the commander size. Which is, to me, commander can also give you value but it's a very good looking optimus prime you can't pass this up even if you didn't like armada i still say you shouldn't pass this up because this is a very important prime for a lot of people that grew up this was their first transformers and here he is next to uh armada megatron now my only gripe and maybe a small one but it could be one that hasbro should look at if they do any potential repaints or remolds of this figure and to the other various versions, even including the uh, OFTCC Mega Xerox or the Lucky Draw Dark Green and Black color scheme, along with the Galvatron color scheme. No mini con ports? Hasbro. This is this is why we get mad at you. This is nostalgia for a lot of people. I was in my 20s. Well, I was going on 30 when these came out. So I kind of, I did buy them though, because it was Transformers. But... The whole idea of the mini cons, you know, they added that playability. And yes, I know the mini, you know, there's not any mechanical gimmicks that the mini cons can unlock. But having the mini con and just having him, you know, where you could place it on him to look like it does, that is part of the show. That is part of the lore. So we're not getting, again, you know, when we get to these unit, you know, to the other universes, we're not getting everything as we should. And I think. That kind of always does always leave a sour taste in my mouth. I'm not, and you can't get mad at me for saying that because I have the original. 
lift the mini con leader one which incidentally is a they retool that for the uh cybertron metroplex we need the mini con i don't know if you're gonna do it or not we need the mini cons plain and simple they should have been packed in with these figures this this has got to stop next is the beachcomber with the unnecessary accessory i'm sorry it's very unnecessary we have this green snot booger i mean it's a bird it's a bird so instead of <laughs> you're gonna give us the bird the figure is nice he's probably gonna be larger than i think that's power to primes the titan return beachcomber but still we need i don't i don't i mean i don't even remember the bird but i guess that's something somebody want to add i don't have a problem with the figure is nice the bird i don't need and that looked like a choking hazard y'all might want to rethink that before y'all put that out there how small and tiny that thing is unless you're going to have an age <laughs> where it's like uh 13 and up or something but it looks good it looks like beachcomber has the little weapon uh instead of not having a weapon that's a big difference um he's going to be in scale with the other mini bots that are have come from the uh war for cybertron going into legacy lines so that's a big plus because like i said you you could use titan's return or what is it i think it's power to prize but it's just too small but this one is going to be a little bigger to fit within with your bumblebee and cliff jumper and then i guess we get to see gears and all the rest of you guys now we have the legend scar i guess you know inspired by the monstrosity comic that's what they say um, he's part of that legend Dinobot combiner. And we also got Swoop. And Swoop looks pretty nice. He's a cute little Swoop bird. Looks like he's going to fly and shoot off some missiles or something. This one actually looks nice. But still, I'm waiting for the big brother from the Studio Series 86. As we know, that's going to be next. And of course, we have the group shot. The class shot of Doom. Prevail to victory. Because of course, Ryan Pax becomes Optimus Prime. Ariel becomes... Alita 1, Dion is somebody, and Alpha Trion's just Alpha Trion, the old. But if you look at this set, the Hero Reborn and the uh, uh, War Dawn 2 pack, all you need is Megatron. You got yourself the scene from that, and if you got the aerial bots, it, like those, you know, the ones from Titus Return, I mean, um, uh, 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 Combiner Wars, ooh, nice. And here's the box for Armada. Uh, Optimus Prime, Commander Class, and here, of course, now we have Legacy Voyager Dirt. And I'm telling you, for a lot of people, this has been a godsend because the debacle behind Dirge and uh, Ramjet 2 pack from uh, Amazon was terrible. Um, a lot of people in other countries didn't get it. Canada was one, a lot of their pre orders uh, all of a sudden just were canceled. Um, and, you know, it could have been planned by Hasbro alone. No, we don't know, but one thing's for sure. You'll be able to get him at the nice low price of $34.99. America now. I don't know how much it'll be in Canada and other countries, but America. American dollar, US dollars, $34.99. And for those that don't have to get him, this is a perfect opportunity to pick him up. And I think, you know, you'll be pleased with that. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad for those people. Because like I said, I got lucky. I got, I actually pre-ordered this. I did pre-order it. Like, I just pre-ordered it. I said, bump it. It's it, it pre-order. You know, at the time, I could probably get some money from my wife. The house broke after paying bills and trying to pick it up. But I, I, I did get it. Moving on. Is this another prototype of the Ark? Or is this just the one they keep in this little studio they have here? The Nemesis. The Nemesis. It's the Nemesis. Bra. Sister. Nemesis. Nemesis. A female robot. This is cool. This is awesome. This is, and it's a Titan. I love the colors. I guess this is a prototype. They say it's not final. So, you know, which usually means they're pretty much done. But you can see there's still some stuff they got to work out here. But, you know, so far so good. What we've gotten, if this gets refined a little bit more and, 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 and fine-tuned, this is going to be a one. I like this over so far. I like this over the arc. I just, I'm, the, I have the arc. I have it, but I don't like it. When I sound like it, just, just the way it looks. It's just an opinion thing. It's not. It's a good figure. Let me, let me rephrase it. It's just me. It feel. I just felt like it was a little flat. But I still got him. I still paid for him. Still paid. Actually, I got him for cheap. That's another story for another day. But there's a lot of materials here. As you can tell, a lot of working parts. 
um, backpack makes me think of like uh, 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 Astro Train. But I love the face, the Decepticon face. So Soundwave just lost out me and the face of the Decepticons, literally. Because uh, that's what the face is based on. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. I dig it. It's going to be this one. I could see a lot of people drawing this in certain ways. Man, the Decepticons, man. And, you know, you know, they, they know all the chicks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> that's why, you know, in the hood. Man, I won't be no Autobot. I won't be a Decepticon. Yes, my nickname and code name is Megatron. Ha! <laughs> That's why Megatron's my avatar. Um, but yeah, it, is, it, it looks good. It's fantastic. I, I, I want this. I can't wait to get my hands on this. I will be buying this. And, and like I said before, a lot of the stuff that we are showing are going to be bought. And then there is DevCon. Now I'm hearing this is a retool of Blur. I still don't see it, but I guess I got to look at my other figures and see. I don't see Blur. I don't know. I don't see Blur in this at all. I don't know who said that, but it's a retool of something. I just can't put my finger on it because I'm not looking at my toys right now, but it's DevCon. 30, let me see, 1985, 86. We've seen that episode. We're in 96, 20, 30 years, almost 30 years in the making. We've been wanting to see DevCon. One of the coolest kick butt episodes we've been wanting to see. DevCon. And boy, did they do a good job with this one. You, all of us are going to freak out. This is going to be the hot one. I believe. Uh, definitely the hot one. Um, but moving on. These are the figures that we did not have, uh, you know, hard figures for. So one of them is going to be this Optimus Prime. That's the Target exclusive. This, uh. Rhinox, I think, is the like regular version of the Rhinox, the Voyager, not the Studio Series. We're gonna get Megatron, and it's gonna be this Megatron. This is the, the one from the old War for Cybertron games, which they re to, renamed. Same thing with Cliff Jumper. I have this. I have the original from that ser from the War for Cybertron series back in like 2010, 2011. And we're gonna get Brawn, a G1 Brawn. And he, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for that because. My bra and then because we get like I guess this is the uh uh it's gonna be uh core class bumblebee from Dark of the Moon. So how do I feel about everything that I've seen so far? Fantastic. I think this is great. I think that this is you know, I'm I'm glad that Hasbro's doing stuff like this. This they, they should do this a lot. They have a lot of figures to show off. I know they have to, you know, I, and I work for a corporation, so I you know large work for a Fortune 50. Um but you know, it's marketing. There's all these other things that they have to do, you know, that they can't even just literally they can't just do a video because that's marketing, you know, and that's money. So, you know, go figure. They probably make money, but they still got to pay for that. Everything being released here is nice. It's not, you know, yeah, some repaints, some retools, but it's good. It's great. Um, it's different. And that's what people want. And, you know, yeah, Hasbro, you're pulling me back in. Um, but yeah, a lot of these are going to get picked up and hopefully reviewed. But right now, I'm not doing reviews in the moment. I've got things I got to clear up. But again, this is Super Robot It. See you soon with our news and reviews. Until then, bye-bye.